Hey students, welcome back to another walkthrough. For this walkthrough, we're looking at Chapter 5G, Sports Programs. Let's begin. First, let's download our assignment. And we'll click on Chapter 5. And we are working on Sports Programs Homework. Let's download our starting materials. Remember, do not download all files. Make sure you click on each file individually. And go ahead and open your student file. And if need be, hit enable editing. So this one is very similar to our assignment that we did earlier in the week. Uh, we are going to create a uh, database. We're going to click some, uh, create some tables, uh, and we're going to do some uh, advanced sorting. So, very first thing we want to do on step number two is display the Valley Park West worksheet, and we're already there. It wants to select the range A1 to J40. So let's go ahead and select A1 to J40, and we are going to insert a table. So we'll go to our Insert tab and we'll click on table uh, our table does have headers so make sure that is check marked and go ahead and hit ok so now that we have our table in here we want to set a table style it says we want the third row fourth style so let's go ahead and come to our tables group here under our table design let's click the down arrow with the line above it and it says in the third row apply the fourth style one two three and then one two three four so it looks like this light orange color right here so now that we have our table created and we have our style selected what we want to do is we want to do a custom list we want to sort it with a custom list to do that we can go ahead and click on our data tab here and under our data tab under our sort and filter grouping here we can click on sort here it brings up our sort dialog box. We want to sort first by campus. So we'll go ahead and select the campus column here. And under the order, we want to change the order to a custom list. And we want to make sure we have a new list. And we want to type in valley, comma, space, park, comma space west for mac users there are uh, different instructions for you uh, so make sure you follow those instructions but for us for us windows users uh, valley park west make sure you capitalize the v the p and the w go ahead and hit ok now we want to create a second level so let's go ahead and hit add a level and this time we want to add a level by sports group so let's go ahead and select sports group and we want to add a third level so let's go ahead and add a third level and this one is going to be by program name once we have all of these selected go ahead and hit ok and now notice how it is sorted by valley first park and then west then from there it is sorted by sports group whether it's court field water and then lastly, it's sorted in those categories by program name. So we did a sort three different levels. So now on step number four, it wants us to display the sports season comparison worksheet. So we're going to go ahead and click on the sports season comparison worksheet. And it wants us to copy the range A6 to G7. So we want to go from A6 to G7. So we want to highlight sports season all the way down to number of students. Go ahead and hold the control key and hit C to copy. Notice that the moving border uh, goes around the selection that we are trying to copy. And it wants us to paste it in cell A1. So let's go ahead and click on cell A1. Hold down your control key and hit V to paste. Control V. It wants us to change sports season. It wants us to change that to criteria. So we're going to go ahead and click in that cell delete that and type in criteria we 
Once you've typed in criteria, go ahead and hit enter. And we also want to make this a named range. Uh, if you did the previous walkthrough, uh, a named range allows us to use a name instead of a group, uh, a range, uh, when we do our different formulas. In this case, we want to create a criteria range. So highlight A2 to G3. We're going to highlight program number all the way down to uh, G3, this blank space here. And up here in our name box where it says A2, we're going to click on that and we're going to type in criteria. Make sure you capitalize the uh, C. Once you've typed in criteria, hit enter. It's very important to hit enter so it sticks. Now it wants us to copy the range A1 to G2. So let's go ahead and highlight A1 to G2. So highlight all of this right here. We want to copy it, so hold down the control key and hit C to copy. We're going to scroll all the way down here to A36. Let's go ahead and click on cell A36. Hold down the control key and hit V to paste. It wants us to change criteria to extract. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of criteria here. Type in extract. Hit enter. And it also wants us to create a named range. So highlight A37 to G37. Come up here to our name box. And let's go ahead and type in extract. Once you've typed in extract, hit enter, very important. And now we want to make our database range. Let's highlight A7 all the way down to G34. Come up here to our name box and let's type in database. And once we've typed in database, hit enter. And now we have created our three named ranges. So just like in our last assignment, what we are trying to do is we want to put a criteria here, which will pull out all of the records that meet that criteria and it will list it down here. So let's come up here and let's go ahead and put in our criteria. So our criteria is going to be fall as the primary season. So under primary season, let's put fall. And then under secondary season, let's go ahead and put in summer. So what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for fall as the primary season and summer as the secondary season. So now we're going to come up here to our data tab under our advanced under our sort and filter. Let's click on advanced and make sure we copy it to another location. And if you notice here, uh, A7 to G34 is our database range. Our criteria range is where we just put our two criterias and it's going to copy it to our extract range. So go ahead and hit OK. And notice how it pulled out every single record that had a primary season of fall and a secondary season of summer. So just a good way to filter out uh, more advanced uh, information. So now it wants us to go to the stipends by group, one step number seven, and we want to create, we want to group our chart here, or our table. So let's go ahead and click inside of our table. We're going to come up here to our sort and filter under our data tab. Let's go ahead and click on sort. First, we are going to sort by group. So let's go ahead and sort by group first, A to Z. And we want to add a level and we're going to group by coach stipend. And then go ahead and hit OK. Notice how it puts everything in order by groups. So now we want to make subtotals based on those groups. So once again, clicked inside of our group here under our data tab. Let's click on subtotal under outline. And on our subtotals, we want to do it by coach stipend. So that's correct. And we want to do it in each change in group. So make sure it says group, not group number. And go ahead and hit OK. And notice now we have a subtotal that adds together all of the different stipends here. So notice right here, I have these pound signs. This just means that the number is too big to fit in that field and we need to auto fit so it can read all of the numbers. 
So to do that, we're going to come up here to C, hover over our C, get that arrow pointing down, click, hold, and drag it and highlight both C and D columns. And go in between both of them. If you go in between both C and D, notice how you'll get these two arrows pointing away from each other. If you double click really fast, notice how it auto fits our fields. And now we can see those numbers that were too big to see. Now it wants us to collapse to level two. So we only see the summary information. So let's go ahead and deselect off of those columns. And let's come over here to our side and let's just hit these minus signs here which will minimize everything and the only thing we will see are our totals now it wants us to go back to the valley park west for step number nine and it wants us to put in a hyperlink to a file that we downloaded in cell j1 so let's come up here to cell j1 let's go ahead and click on cell j1 and to insert a hyperlink let's go to the insert tab under the insert tab here where it says links group we want to click on the down arrow next to links and we want to go all the way down to insert link it'll bring up our insert link hyper uh, insert hyperlink box and here we want to link to an existing web file or web page we want to make sure it's in our downloads folder so let's go ahead and click here where it says look in and find our downloads folder mine was already there we might have to find it and we are looking for the 05G coach information. So I'm going to scroll down here and here it is 05G coach information. I want to click on it. It also wants us to put in a screen tip. So we're going to come up here and we're going to click on screen tip and our screen tip text. We're going to type in click here for contact information and once we do that go ahead and hit OK and hit OK now when we hover over this link notice that when we hover over it it says click here for contact information and if we click on it it should open up our coach information worksheet all right I don't need this worksheet so I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of this worksheet and come back to my file and it says uh, for step number 10, we want to select all three worksheets. So I'm going to come down here where it says Valley Park West. I'm going to cl right click on Valley Park West and hit select all sheets. It wants us to insert a footer. So I'm going to come up here to our page layout tab. Under our page layout tab, we're going to click on our page setup dialog box button right here, this little guy. And we'll click on header footer. We'll click on custom footer. In the left section, it wants our file name. And in the right section here, it wants the sheet name. So make sure you get the file name here. And for sheet name, it says tab. Go ahead and hit OK. Now we're going to go to margins. It wants us to center on page horizontally. So put a check mark there. It also wants us to go to the page tab here and fit to one by one. Once you have all that done, hit OK. Now it wants us to change the theme to slice. So I'm going to come up here to our themes group under our page layout tab. And I'm going to find the one that says slice. It's this one right here, slice. So once I click on slice, notice how it changes the colors for me. It also wants us to change the font theme to Corbel. So I'm going to come up here to my fonts under themes. And I'm going to find the one that says Corbel. And just notice how it changes the font in the theme for us. For our last step, step number 11, let's go to our file tab. Under our file tab, under the info group, let's go ahead and put in our properties. So I'm going to hit show all properties under tags. I'm going to type in sports programs. Under subject, I'm going to type in CGS. And under author, I'm going to right click on go series, hit remove person and add an author. I'm going to put in my name. And that's it. We're done. I'm going to go ahead and save the file. I'm going to save it again for good measure. I'm going to minimize it. 
I'll get back to my download starting materials. I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads folder. And here it is, my student Excel 5G sports programs. I'm going to hit open, upload, and submit for grading. It says kudos. I'm going to close the assignment. I'm going to come back to my documents here where it says uh, sports programs. I'm going to click on the three dots and hit view submissions. And it looks like I got a 99% oh so close. I'm going to see what I did wrong by clicking on the submission. And it says right here I must have did something wrong on step five. And it says uh, in A36, the sports season, the content was not set to fall, summer. Uh, what I did is I typed in extract there instead of typing in fall, summer, sports season. Uh, you can go back and fix this if you like. I'm not going to. I'm happy with the 99%. Uh, so that's it. We are done with this walkthrough. Uh, I look forward to creating the walkthroughs for Chapter 6. And like always, have a wonderful day.